Now that we have a sharp axe, the next thing to work on is the handle. When making an improvised handle in the woods, the mistake that a lot of people make is they take a branch and simply shape it and fit it to the head. That gives us a handle with horrible grain pattern. It is circular, just like you would see in the branch. What we want to do for a good handle is work with the wood to the side of the branch or the trunk. That gives us the straightest grain possible. What I've done here is I've cut a piece of wood about 20 to 22 inches in length that will just fit in the eye of the axe that we're working with. I will try to split it in half to get decent grain orientation and then shape it and fit it to the axe. So let's give it a shot and see how it goes. The first step is to split the wood. It's just a wedge that I have prepared for this specific task. What I'm going to do now is work both sides of the split piece of wood that I have chosen. The reason why I'm working both sides is because the center is still way too close to the circular grain of the wood. I would like to get further to the side where it will straighten out a bit. Always try to keep the non-cutting hand above the blade. Working with an axe without a handle 
it's much more exhausting than with one with a handle. That's why people who do a lot of work with tomahawks, where the handle is easily removable, I still recommend that they keep the handle on when carving. It makes the task much easier. Big tough knots like this one. You can just put on straight to them. Now I'm simply shaping it, trying to round it off so it can function as a handle. Okay, I think we're pretty close to the point where we can start trying to fit this. In the axe head. So let's see. Pretty much we just have to thin it out. Lengthwise, seems like I got the measurement. Pretty much on the money. As you can see, you can make pretty good feather sticks with an axe if you don't need a rose. Almost there. I'm removing more wood from the outside just because that's where we have more of a curve in the wood. I want to even it out. Okay. Have the shape right. Now we just have to get it to the same depth. You'll notice that, unlike my other axes, this handle is going to be straight. There's no phone's foot. 
that's because this is a handle I'm making in the field and trying to do it very quickly for you guys. If you had a larger piece of wood to work with and more time and possibly an axe, you could easily shape the curve in the handle. Okay, so now we have it in. All we have to do to finish it off is create a slot and a wedge and finish the job. Now, to form the notch in the handle to make the cut, you can certainly saw it. But if you happen not to have a saw, you could simply create a split with your knife and it will work just as well. In, and then just the wedge that I have shaped from another piece of wood that we can hammer in. Now we can saw off the excess and should be good to go. Here you have it, a perfectly good axe we can use in the field. Not perfect, but certainly something that can be easily put together in under 20 minutes.